Good morning everybody and welcome to our morning prayer on Thursday morning. Before we begin with our formal prayer, you may have noticed on the screen that Gordon has asked us to pray for Jill as this morning she takes the funeral of baby Michael. So before we begin formally, let us stand united in prayer and bring Jill before the Lord. Father God, we ask that you would hold Jill up this morning that you would give her the strength to deal with this awful situation, to be able to convey her compassion, your grace and your love to a family bound in grief and loss. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So we'll go to our formal um, service of prayer. We'll just take a moment to prepare ourselves as we meet with the Lord. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Send your Holy Spirit upon us, and clothe us with power from on high. Alleluia. 
Blessed are you, creator God, to you be praise and glory forever. As your spirit moved over the face of the waters, bringing light and life to your creation, pour out your spirit on us today, that we may walk as children of light and by your grace reveal your presence. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Who forgives all your sins and heals all your infirmities. Who redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with faithful love and compassion. Who satisfies you with good things so that your youth is renewed like an eagle's. The Lord executes righteousness and judgment for all who are oppressed. He made his way known to Moses and his work to the children of Israel. The Lord has established his throne in heaven and his kingdom has dominion over all. Blessed the Lord, you angels of his, you mighty ones who do his bidding and hearken to the voice of his word. Bless the Lord, all you his hosts, you ministers of his who do his will. Bless the Lord, all you works of his, in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. And we say together, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Our psalm set for today is Psalm 24. The earth is the Lord and all that fills it, the compass of the world and all who dwell therein. For he has founded it upon the seas and set it firm upon the rivers of the deep. Who shall ascend the hill of the Lord? Who can rise up in his holy place? Those who have clean hands and a pure heart, who have not lifted up their soul to an idol, nor swore an oath to a lie. They shall receive a blessing from the Lord, a just reward from the God of their salvation. Such is the company of those who seek him, of those who seek your face, O God of Jacob. Lift up your heads, O gates, be lifted up, you everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord who is mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O gates, be lifted up, you everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory. O Lord of hosts, purify our hearts, that the King of glory may come in, your Son, Jesus, our Redeemer. And we say together, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Our Gospel reading this morning is taken from the book of Luke, chapter 8, beginning at verse 26. Then they arrived at the country of Gerasenes, which is opposite Galilee. As he stepped out on land, a man of the city who had demons met him. For a long time he had worn no clothes, and he did not live in a house, but in the tombs. When he saw Jesus, he fell down before him and shouted at the top of his voice, What have you to do with me, Jesus, Son of the God of Most High? I beg you, do not torment me. For Jesus has commanded the unclean spirit to come out of the man, for many times it had seized him, 
He was kept under guard and bound with chains and shackles, but he would break the bonds and be driven by the demon into the wilds. Jesus then asked him, What is your name? He said, Legion, for many demons had entered him. They begged him not to order them to go back into the abyss. Now there on the hillside a large herd of swine was feeding, and the demons begged Jesus to let them enter them. So he gave them permission. Then the demons came out of the man and entered the swine, and the herd rushed down the steep bank into the lake and was drowned. When the swine herd saw what had happened, they ran off and told it in the city and in the country. Then people came out to see what had happened, and when they came to Jesus, they found the man from whom the demons had gone, sitting at the feet of Jesus, clothed and in his right mind. And they were afraid. Those who had seen it told them how the one who had been possessed by demons had been healed. Then all the people of the surrounding country of the Gerasenes asked Jesus to leave them, for they were seized with great fear. So he got into the boat and returned. The man from whom the demons had gone begged that he might be with him, but Jesus sent him away, saying, Return to your home and declare how much God has done for you. So he went away, proclaiming throughout the city how much Jesus had done for him. In response, we say, come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your people and kindle in us the fire of your love. All who are led by the Spirit of God are children of God and fellow heirs with Christ. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your people. Renew the face of your creation, Lord, pour in on us the gift of your Spirit and kindle in us the fire of your love. For the creation waits with eager longing from the glorious liberty of the children of God. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your people and kindle in us the fire of your love. Our Gospel Canticle this morning is the Benedictus, the Song of Zachariah. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Christ has gone up on high and has led captivity captive. Alleluia. We come now to our time of intercessions, which will be based on our reading from Luke, remembering the verse in his right mind. What a joy to be in our right mind when we sit in the presence of Jesus Christ. So let us pray. Let us pray for the healing of all ills in the church and in the world. Lord, cleanse the church from all that may hinder her witness to the gospel. Give grace to her ministers and to all Christian people, that they may make known the mighty works of God. In this moment, I ask that you pray for those you know who are in leadership, local leadership, 
in the church, perhaps for our archdeacons, Mike and Ian, for our Bishop Keith and our Bishop-elect Mark. We pray for our archbishops and we pray for all those in leadership across the church that at this time of uncertainty they would seek your will and your discernment Lord to glorify your name in our country. We pray for all of those who we know are a part of our Christian family, for the various Christian groups we're a part of, ourselves, perhaps other networks across churches. And we pray again, Lord, that you give grace to the ministers and to all Christian people that they may make known the mighty works of God. Lord, have mercy on the world where many are in conflict with one another and are not at peace with themselves. Come with the healing spirit which drives out evil in the high places of power and in the lives of simple people. In this moment, I would like us to consider what it means for other countries to be in this place. For those we know who are torn apart by conflict and war, famine and disasters. We pray for Syria, Bangladesh, for Pakistan, We pray also for leaders of countries, perhaps not just those who are in conflict or war, but countries such as our own and America. Countries that need strong, fair, just leadership. I pray for our local MP, Justin Madders. I pray for Boris Johnson and his cabinet in the wake of the Dominic Cummins affair. We pray for the American government who themselves are dealing with issues other than COVID-19 that have been so well reported. And we pray for those in education who are responsible for laying out policies to take our children back to school. We say again, come with the healing spirit which drives our evil in the high places of power and in the lives of simple people. Father God, bless us, our families and friends with inward calm and love for one another. Help us to care for those among us who are distressed in any way. Give serenity of mind to all who live and work in our community. Father God, we bring before you anybody that we know who is unwell in body, mind or spirit who is seeking to sit at your feet, clothed and in their right mind. We pray for your peaceful presence on those struggling with mental health. We pray for your peaceful presence around the family of baby Michael today. Lord, look with compassion on all who are disturbed in their minds. Give skill and patience to those who care for them and seek to heal them. 
Comfort those who are rejected by society and restore them to the fellowship that has been denied them. We pray, Lord, for those in the care sector, for the nurses, the doctors, the domestic staff. I pray for my mum and the staff at her care home. I pray for Kate at Clare House Hospice, for Malcolm and for Heather at Arrow Park. I pray for Sarah working at the Clatterbridge Cancer Centre. We bring before you, Lord, the homeless, those who are struggling with food poverty, Comfort those who are rejected by society and restore them to the fellowship that has been denied them. Lord, we pray now for the departed and especially those whose lives in this world have been troubled by mental illness. May they be made perfect in the heavenly peace which passes understanding. So we bring before the Lord those we know who have left us, those we know who have passed away, either our own family or friends or neighbours. And we ask that Lord Jesus, you would be with them. That your peace which surpasses all understanding would envelop them. Lord, we pray in the name of Christ, who casts out all that is evil. We draw our prayers together with the collect. O God, the King of glory, you have exalted your only Son, Jesus Christ, with great triumph to your kingdom in heaven. We beseech you, leave us not comfortless, but send your Holy Spirit to strengthen us and exalt us to the place where our Saviour Christ is gone before, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Being made one by the power of the Spirit, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May the Spirit kindle in us the fire of God's love. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. I thank you this morning for joining us in prayer, whether you've joined from the comfort of your own home or like Ricky, you've managed to join us from work. I pray that you have a safe and well day and hopefully you'll be able to join us again this evening at seven o'clock for evening prayer. Until then, Stay safe, stay well, and God bless.